Oh, we're looking nice. What is up? It's your boy Aang here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we've got a banger. 2021 Toyota Tacoma SR5 looking mighty, mighty snazzy. In today's video, we're going to be talking about was it worth buying this Toyota Tacoma. A lot of people are in the market looking for Tacomas and they always seem to come back to me as this is my fourth one in the last three years, but we're not going to talk about it financially today. Nonetheless, was it worth it to buy a 2021 Toyota Tacoma SR5 when I just had a 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. So if you're in a Tacoma or you're looking to get a Tacoma, maybe this video will help you out. So without further ado, let's follow my shadow to the back of the truck and let's get right into the video. But of course you gotta leave a like, a comment, and a subscription though. So I'm gonna be giving you guys five reasons why I went from the 2020 Toyota Tacoma to this 2021 Toyota Tacoma SR5. First and foremost, I wanted a clean slate. So if you can't tell by my shoes, I'm not a normal lad, okay? I like to do things differently. I like to do things my way. On my last Tacoma, I kind of did what everyone else does. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're into that, cool beans. I'm happy for you. But me, uh, well, uh, we, uh, we weren't too happy. So I ended up getting rid of it, and I thought I was even going to go a different direction in truck. I was thinking about a Tundra, or I was thinking about a 4Runner. We got another Tacoma. Now that we had a clean slate, I was able to do absolutely anything and everything I wanted to do to this Toyota Tacoma. And uh, as you guys can already see, we are not going very lightly on the uniqueness and modifications to this truck. So with that being said, that's my number one reason as far as why I went for it. I just wanted a clean slate. I wanted to start over. Number two is actually a comfort feature. So uh, let's go inside. You may think this is dumb. You may not agree with me, but I really, 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 really love the way this looks and I wanted dual climate control. This is the reason why I did it. I'm not saying this was a wise idea to do it, but number two was getting that dual climate control because sometimes I'm hot, sometimes I'm cold. And depending on the passenger, Sandy, she never agrees with me. So this way we get the best of both worlds. I really hope she's not watching this because if she is, well, you guys might not see this video. That's number two. It just has that one extra feature that my 2020 didn't have when i was like why should i buy this sr5 that was that was on the list so i know it's dumb but i did it number three is actually one a selfish one and i honestly feel bad about it the most okay i literally feel bad about this the most 2020 toyota tacoma trd sport in quick sand quick sand quick sand sandy is my girlfriend we had the license plate as q sandy but i like blue um yeah, I like Voodoo Blue. Voodoo Blue is absolutely the best color Toyota has ever released. I will admit, as much as I love blue, it is obnoxious. I love this color to death. I cannot stop looking at it, but that's the problem. Everywhere you go, people are staring. So you're never ever, like Rob Motive says, going into incognito mode in this truck. I want to keep this truck for the rest of my entire life. And uh, I would not do it happier with any other color than the good old Voodoo Blue. Yeah, I actually still can't afford this new truck. So a like, a comment, and a subscription. Maybe even sharing this to your favorite cat group chat on Facebook would really help out the channel. Number four. Number four, my last Tacoma had some mods that were kind of, well, uh, irreversible viper cut <clears throat> there was some stuff i did on that truck that i couldn't really take back cutting this you have to get a whole bumper you have to color match it to the truck and you have to hope that all the plastic lines up i will be honest with you guys if you take anything apart it will never go in the same way it originally did because it's plastic it bends also the inner liner i would have to buy inner liner to replace it of course you could bring it back to stock but then you have to get rid of all that other stuff and then you're just sitting on money and i had already sold the other items it was just a lot easier for me to get rid of that last truck and uh just move on not count the losses whatever was done was done i wouldn't say i regretted doing the viper cut i just know i wouldn't do it again so yeah number four there was just too many things that i did to it that i didn't want on the truck anymore and i didn't want to take it all the way back to stock try to sell everything and then go back into modifying so number four number five i want to keep this truck forever as long as i can keep this truck i want to keep it that last truck i started to have my doubts so lifted did everything myself took it in the woods took it mudding did everything i wanted to have a truck that i could keep forever on the channel kind of as our flagship vehicle that truck had two things that i didn't like about it it had battle scars okay some people might call that sweat equity but number two it had a little bit more tech than i was into so number one let's talk about the battle scars okay we went through this trail it was gnarly brah until i got home and watched the truck brah pinstripes from here to here all 
through. It wasn't just like on the clear coat. No, I could see silver all the way through. RIP the bug. Through my window, scratched all the way. Like big, deep, gnarly scratches all throughout the back. I just couldn't get over it. I was so upset that my windows got scratched. It never processed in my brain that my windows could get scratched. Like now it makes sense because I, you know, used a little bit more of my brain power, but I just never thought that my truck would get damaged that way. It was such a beautiful truck. First off, the color shouldn't have been scratched up that way. I know some people don't care, but I care. And then up here for the windows to get scratched, every time I looked out the window, it was just like, dang, you, you messed up. Number two though, as far as the features that it had, it didn't have what I wanted and it had too much of what I didn't want. For example, the Toyota keyless entry stuff. It's cool, fun. I don't really like it because I knew a guy who had a Mustang. He had that keyless entry. Someone broke into it. I don't know. It probably won't ever happen, but just to prevent. There was a lot more buttons right here that had a lot more function. It also had push to start. Again, I just didn't need it. I don't want push to start. I don't need push to start. It had the wireless charger. It just had a lot more tech and gear that I didn't need in the future. Oh, in the future. This truck being a lot more simple gives me everything I need. It has the modern necessities and it's a Toyota Tacoma with Toyota Tacoma reliability. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. Let me know why you went from one Tacoma to another. A lot of my subscribers do this significant jump, which I probably will be doing with this truck, but they go from like 1996 to like a 2025 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. I'm kidding, you know what I mean though. 3.5 thousand subscribers, a million views on this channel, and I couldn't have done it without you. So I appreciate you every single day of my life. Thank you, okay, thank you. Did I already do my outro? I don't know if I did my outro. It's been your boy. I'm out of liking Audi. I'll see you tomorrow. Single tomorrow. Peace. So for all the badge snobs out there, oh, you left a TRD Sport for an SR5? You're broke. You can't afford the truck. You had to give it up. Yes, correct. I could not afford the truck.